You may just laugh or roll your eyes at the QAnon conspiracies you see online, but these conspiracies are seriously hurting our ability to fight climate change. Every time extreme weather is in the news cycle, from the Texas freeze to the Canadian wildfires that cover the East Coast in smoke, we immediately see an onset of rampant disinformation across social media. Uh, the Earth could, could take probably 10 times the, the current civilization. This disinformation aims to change the reality of what we are seeing. We're told renewable energy and arsonists are to blame when fossil fuel driven climate change is the culprit. And we see lies spread about climate solutions like fossil fuel phase out or wind energy. Research has shown that there is a core group of people spreading this climate denial, but that's not where it ends. In January 2020, these users spent their time denying climate change. In March 2020, they moved on to denying COVID. In June 2020, they moved on to conspiracy theories about Black Lives Matter. Studies show they've now teamed up with extremist groups like QAnon to spew hatred and lies across social media on every progressive issue. Social media companies are making money off this disinformation. Virality equals ad dollars to them. As climate denial becomes wider spread, tech companies continue to resist tackling this issue. We already have the fight of our lives when it comes to combating the climate crisis. And now, disinformation is weakening public understanding of climate and actively blocking climate policy from moving forward. Tech companies must strengthen their policies to stop right-wing extremists from distorting reality right in front of us. 